hello everyone today i want to show you how to make an object avoiding robots and this is our robot here we have constructed so this robot is rather simple all we need is a four wheel smart car robot chassis then you have an ultrasonic sensor that is mounted on two a silver motor then we are going to be using a motor shield from other fruit this motor shield is very important because it helps us to run the four motors connected to the wheels of the chassis and it also has enough space or enough pins for adding the ultrasonic sensor and the servo motor thereby reducing our work when it comes to wiring and also reducing the load or the voltage load that can be put onto the Arduino board especially by the motors this is our power source actually this project is mainly is affected a lot by the power so make sure you're using a stable power source otherwise the setup is rather simple you can check it up with the schematic that i have there and then you compare and see so here we're having our ultrasonic sensor i'm going to connect it to pin a0 and a1 of the motor shield then we have our servo motor being connected to one of the connections of the motor shield for the servo motor and then these four ports this is for motor one motor two motor three and motor four then we're going to have our power source here connected here the external power source is connected around here and i'm having a simple little pad switch here so switching on the robot when begins movement so you can have a simple look at the program that we're going to be using to run this robot this is the program we're going to be using to run our object avoiding robot the major issue here is to make sure that you have these three libraries included in your arduino ide the one is afmotor.h this one is for running the motor driver shield that we're using then you have the new ping.h for running the ultrasonic sensor and the servo.h running the servo motor so i have another tutorial talking more about this library and how to control the the shield so you can check it out and see and for these two more these ones i've already talked about the one for controlling the servo motor and the atomic sensor they are also already connected the rest of the program is also very simple so i'll put the link to where you can get the program from in the description below the video so from here we just simply upload this code into the robot and then we see what is going to happen when the program is uploaded the robot will begin moving forward it's an obstacle turns left or right and then moves in a direction where there is no obstacle